Now is when we take that ball, we run. We go sell it to that gang family for like half price and go live in Bermuda for the rest of our lives. Mate. Mate Ling. Mate Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, this petrol, look, we gotta get out. Right? Fuck. Get the bowl, bro. What is that, money? Let's go. What about the others? Oh, they're dead. They're all dead. Come on. Ah, oh, it's the bowl. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought that was a gunshot, dude. We need to get away from here. Where are we going? We're gonna take this bowl to Woos to finish what you started. It's Mr. Woos? Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? Uh, what do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Convince her, dude. You gotta get her out of here, too. Come on, let's go, let's go. Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. Take her. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. You look. No, he. I think he put the ball in his pocket. Hong Kong City. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four? Four of me, please. <laughs> it's going wrong. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Follow me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. <laughs> Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. I've never heard of Mr. Wu. What? Well, how about the queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Damn, bro, okay. she's... You, right here. She's dope. I like her. A fortune cookie. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fortune cookie. Why not, bro? <laughs> Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I'd say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Let's find out. Not to learn. Four me, please. Tell me. No.
佢哋話有緊要嘢同你講。阿三，過嚟。Oh, dude, this is not not really where we want to be. This is some yakuza stuff here. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead. Okay, that's why we brought you your bow. My bow. Adam, turn back your way. Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family. Possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. Twelve point five mil. We were there. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out. If you know how much they paid, then you know your twenty percent is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you: get out of my restaurant. All right, that's fine, bro. I'm taking the ball with me, though. What should we do with it? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Bro, what? What if we just give it back to him and just? Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom. Go on, Cordy. Talk away. Goodbye. We will not meet again. I'm confused. Fucking great. So this whole plan was never solid to begin with. Do you want to know what fortune cookie said? Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are. <laughs> you fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. I mean, that seems like a pretty sound option. Okay, let's go. Is that just a normal taxi? I certainly hope it is.
We really got ourselves in a mess, dude. I was hoping this was just gonna go off without a hitch where you're gonna make a couple mil and bounce out. Like her name, her, her last name would not be Smith. Mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. <laughs> Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Wait, what? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. Absolutely, that was kind of random, though. Things are just getting weirder and weirder, bro. What? <laughs> the music so loud a Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found at fucking hell. he was killed So loud, I can hardly. How you know it's going to get us killed? Oh, shut the phone so we get. Hello? Mr. Smith? Yeah? I have some people in the reception. Shall I send them up? There's someone downstairs. Window! Break it! They're gonna hear that. What are you? I guess it worked. I see you, bro, grabbing a piece of that on the way out.
That was our only bargaining chip. Why would you do that? Matt, slow down. I cannot believe you just did that. After everything we've been through tonight, you destroyed the bowl just like that. Just stop, will you? When they find us, they're gonna fucking kill us. It's not that simple. Yeah, with you it never is. Just stop. I can explain. Inside. You destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why. Because it was a fake. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Ah, sh The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Oh, I thought she had a fake one. How did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who watched it. Fuck. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was lied to just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get him. Please. You have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing you right now? I trust you. Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay? I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. We'll start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? We need to get in a safer area than under a bridge. Wait, the guy was selling the bowl? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? Mm. To keep for himself? You didn't believe that though, did you? I believe in the good in people. Well, don't give me this bullshit! Where's the original now? I don't know. I can see Paul must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At Haynesworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on a thread called thermoluminescence. Luminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the porcelain is fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? You mean? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of the past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's gonna regret this. So Par is the mastermind behind all of this. this. Beating up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. He wanted the fake one to burn. Oh, there's the police. He wanted the fake one to burn. Shit. So you couldn't discern it from the real one. And then he could keep the real one. And keep the money. They won't touch us. They won't touch you, you mean. We don't really have much choice. In a situation like this, you must have smacked that biggest guy right in the face before he does. Come on, you didn't leave that. Hey, you. Let's do it. Fuck off. Keep your hands off me. Some old boy looking for a fight. Daddy taught us right. Oh, come on, Matt. Matt! I'm going, Matt. I told you to fuck off, yeah? What big don't you understand? Bro, okay, that's too far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get it off. It's not worth it, it's not worth it, it's over. Fucking pricks. I understand punching him in the face, but that was too far.
over the hill are you? No! They got her that quick? I can't leave her to die. How could I live with that? No, she says Paul's fucked us. So let's pay this guy a visit. Dude. And it doesn't help that she freaking kissed us and everything. She's obviously got an emotional attachment with us now, so. She was some rando. I just skipped town and see ya. But we're in the thick of it now. gonna walk right up to his door and knock on it. Good morning. An appointment with Samuel Parr? Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? <laughs> Just walks in. Mr. Parr, this man says oh, that he thank has you. Well, I, I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are? No. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt, how did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you, and you organized the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! <laughs> Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. The golf clubs, don't do it, bro. Come on. We are gonna to discuss this sensibly or not. I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Ooh. You have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. All right. Sensibly in my study. Yeah. Lead on. Dude, he's for a parking attendant, he's kind of a like a, a parking attendant math nerd. He's a savage, bro. He knocked that one dude senseless. He handles himself pretty well. I'm, I respect it. I don't think I would be that badass. I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. What do you think the Choys have to say about all of this? <laughs> the Choys will never believe you. I am a respected member of the community, and you clearly are not. Are you willing to take that risk? Tony Wu was a respected member of the community. They had no trouble killing him, did they? I will destroy everything in here. Uh, not now, will I? All right, all right. The bowl is here. I collected the chest last night. Show it to me. Wait, 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 wait. 
I'll do it. You don't know the code. You tell it to me, come on. Seven, nine, nineteen, zero, one. Ha! Oh, so it's like that now, is it? You don't think I'm just going to give it to you just like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you're going to do. The bowl's not here. Then where is it? It's not here. I am serious. Don't shoot, don't shoot. It isn't here. It's still at Hainsworth's. You said you picked it up last night. I couldn't get it. Not with the police there. It's still in the vault. Then He's lying. Delivered. When? Why would I tell you? Okay. Okay. Then we'll wait here. Together with the choice. No, 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 wait. What? Keep me out of this. I'll give you a million pounds if you keep my involvement from the choice. You could take a hundred thousand pounds right now, right out of the safe. Rest later. A million pounds? What? And you get scot free, do you? Scot free. It's an interesting offer, but nah, fam. I want my girl back. No. No, I don't think so, Mr. Parr. There are some things in life your money can't buy. And I'm one of them. Who are you calling? Sit down. Yeah, it's me. Speak. The ball's been delivered to Samuel Parr's house. When? Sometime today, I don't know. The girl dies in one hour. No, 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 no. no. You, you have to keep her alive. You have to believe me. Okay. I said men. No, no, listen. Yeah. Hello? Chinese fuckers. <laughs> I think just because they owned it once, it's theirs forever. So now are we about to team up with the old man to beat him? Who are you? I park cars. You don't look as if you park cars. I suppose not. They've already got guys there. Delivery for Mr. Park. They hit it inside that box. No way, dude. Where's the Where's girl? Hiding? We don't know. Where she live? That's a badass G wagon, bro. We're oh, we're going. We're going. I mean, I tracked it down. I received it for you. Come on, man. Like, let's... Let's be men about this. We investigate a matter with Mr. Paul himself. Where's my Ling? She's here. Are we free to go? Room 731. Please tell me she's not dead. Lu Chai Long. What did he say? Goodbye. Please don't shoot me in the back. Please don't tell me there's like a bomb rigged in that room. Please don't tell me she's like strung up dead.
No. Bye. Bye, Link. No! Oh my god! No! Bro, they set us up? Oh my, like, again, I knew that there's no way you could have a good ending working with criminals like that, bro. They just cleaned up, tied off all the old loose ends, got their pottery thing back, and they're, like, they have nothing to worry about now. They completely, we, we fell into it. We should have just went home. I wonder what would have happened if we went home. I think this thing has, like, six or eight endings or something like that, but, uh, anyway... There you guys have it, dude. That was crazy. That was actually really, really good. I really enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, I'm hoping we get some more games like this. Maybe from whoever made this, or maybe it's going to become like a new trend. Like, I, I love stuff like this that's super story driven. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. If you guys want us to go back and do some like alternate endings and stuff, maybe we can do that. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, anyway, I'm going to see you guys later. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.